The second commitment involves clean energy and job training at America's historically black colleges and universities. I would like to invite the uh, people making the commitment to the stage that uh, our former Secretary of Transportation, uh, when I was president, Rodney Slater, who is now the Chairman of Energy Infrastructure Partners, and Dana Sands of Energy Infrastructure Partners. <laughs> Historically, black colleges and universities have not traditionally been involved on the front lines of the green energy movement. Energy Infrastructure Partners is America's first minority-owned clean energy infrastructure fund. It commits to work with these colleges and universities across America to develop more efficient and renewable energy infrastructure and to certify students in green energy installation and integration. Beginning this year, the program will educate and train students at five colleges to design, install, and maintain energy efficient projects such as solar panels on the roofs of their schools. Something that I might add is being done on a widespread basis in California, uh, thanks in part to the laws and the utilities that are supporting it. One key to financing this initiative is that energy infrastructure partners will be able to use tax credits under the new market laws in America. I'm going to do a little self-promotion here. I try never to do this at one of these meetings. But we created, when I was president, the empowerment zones, which gave businesses special incentives to make investments in urban and rural areas of especially high unemployment and low per capita income. And they worked. But we recognized that they were extremely limited because they were rather costly and only applied to about 20 areas in the country. So in the last two years of I was in office with an amazingly broad political coalition running all the way from the then Republican Speaker of the House, Dennis Hastert, to Reverend Jesse Jackson, we ran around the country to urban and rural areas alike that were underserved and had significant economic problems, and we devised this new markets initiative with special tax credits to incent people to invest. A significant number of our historically black colleges and universities are eligible for these new market tax credits, and that makes, though they're located in areas, excuse me, eligible for the new market tax credit, and that's what's going to make this economical for them so that they will be able to purchase and own the solar power that then will be installed on the roofs of these buildings. Over the next five years, they'll have 25 schools involved in this and prepare an estimated 100,000 students, 100,000 students for jobs in the energy sector. And at the same time, create some jobs by buying more green energy and promoting energy efficiency at our historically black colleges and universities. So let's give them a big hand. That's a great thing. <laughs> 